Hey guys, it's Arx here and welcome back to my channel. We are finally back with another Switch review. It's been a while since I've used a deep sounding Switch. So today, let's all take a look and listen at the Hades Linear Switch. But first, a quick message from our channel sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for all your PCB prototyping needs and they do offer a lot of services and it's very easy to order with them. Just go to the PCB instant code, select the service that you want like the standard PCB, select the specification and they also offer assembly services. After that, just hit calculate and you're done. If you are interested, head over now to PCBWay.com, links in the description. A very quick disclaimer before the video starts that the switches were sent over by Vala Supply but I wasn't paid to make the video and of course regardless I will give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion about the switch. You can check out my affiliate link and if you are or if you will be interested in the switch, check out Vala Supply on my description down below. Let's take a look at the switches. We have here the Hades linear switch designed by Moyu Studios and was manufactured by JWK. If you know, I did review the Hera switches, so it's tied up with Moyo Studios Greek mythology switches. So now here's the Hades. They also have the Poseidon switch. Now going back to the switches, this utilizes a slightly longer stem, more of an in-between long pole and a conventional stem. It also has or features a three-stage springs for that minimal sound profile. Now the switches comes in in packs of 10 for six dollars and 90 cents now breaking down the materials on the haiti switch it's a five pin switch and it's using nylon for the top and bottom housing a p3 lengthened stem a three stage springs and you can choose a 63.5 gram or a 42 gram bottom out now the switches comes in raw with no factory loop now in today's video, it's going to be our usual, a sound comparison with a stock versus lube and of course a sound comparison with other linear switch. And speaking of the sound is, please do keep in mind that the sound and experience will always vary depending on your keyboard and build. Now for the Soundtis, we'll be using of course a Vega 65 and I'll put my configurations down below. The keycaps on the Soundtis are GMK Higanbana which you can get at Vala Supply. If you want to hear my thoughts and opinion or the review on the Switch, please do stick around at the end of the Soundtis or feel free to check the timestamps. So with all of that out of the way, please do enjoy the Soundtis on the Hades Linear Switch.
And that was the sound test for the Hades switches. Please do let me know on what you think about them on the comment section down below and let's have some quick discussions. And if you also made it up to this point of the video, I'd like to say thank you for staying and now let's talk about my thoughts and opinion about the switch. First, let's talk about my thoughts on the feel. As expected, on stock, it really has that raw nylon feeling to it or that raw plastic switch. Also, it has that crunch or that friction that you feel with a stock switch. Honestly, I don't really recommend them using out of the box unless going stock is your preference. Now, once lube, of course, it felt so much smoother. And I really love the bottom out on these. The 63.5 gram hits the spot for me. It's not too light and not too heavy over time. The three stage springs is also alright and has that subtle, snappy return feel. Now, let's move on to my thoughts on the sound. Same as what I said on the feel, you can really hear the leaf crunch and it just sounds raw for me, for my preference. Like, it isn't that bad, but I would say lubing them is really the way if you really want to bring the best sound on the Hades Switch. Now, once lubed, it has that in-between of a clacky but more on a deeper sound profile, a snappy sound profile to it. And I know a lot of you guys will like this kind of sound profile, but for me, you know me, I'm really more of that really loud clacky linears. Overall, the switches are nice, it's pretty decent, and especially if you want an almost full nylon switch with a very balanced spring weight and stem. I did enjoy using them on a daily for almost two weeks now, but it's not really to the point that it would stay long on our Vega. It does feel and sound really nice once lubed, but I can say that these are those linears that really needs to be lubed to really show its full potential. And that's it for the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed the review on the Haiti switches and I hope you find my review hopeful. If you do, please don't forget to like the video to help out the channel grow. And if you will be interested on the switches, please do check out my affiliate link. So, what's next? Well, we'll be reviewing two new boards, the Jerry's 80 and the Lumen Key 80, so please stay tuned on that. Again, don't forget to like the video, share if you want, and of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next Soundist. Peace.